French President Emmanuel Macron has unveiled his 2019 budget, and it will be France's eighth consecutive year of austerity. The highlights are 46 billion euros in no-strings-attached tax cuts to businesses, combined with caps to senior pensions, regressive tax increases on consumer goods, and cuts to thousands of government jobs. The government says the fiscal gifts to businesses are to support investment and thus job creation. The tax cuts will increase France's fiscal deficit slightly, but they will remain under the European Union's arbitrary 3% fiscal deficit rule, which the government also cited as a major consideration. Macron is sticking with austerity even though it has produced a lost decade of economic growth, with France's growth rate averaging less than 1% annually. It's clear that this budget serves only the rich and not the rest of the population, who simply has to try to make things work all alone. We will only see inequality and poverty increase because the rich are obviously monopolizing more of our wealth. The response from French media has ranged from realistic on the economic right wing to scathing on the center and left. Some media openly accused the government of playing with the numbers to hide the budget's negative impact on the average household. However, what is universally reported is that the budget does not respond to the number one concern of French people, decreased purchasing power. The minor tax cuts for households are certain to be offset by tax increases on things like petrol and cigarettes and the reduced incomes for senior pensions. Many agree that the austerity budget is not likely to increase the president's already record low popularity. If Macron wanted to increase his popularity, he would have needed to make a big economic gesture to the middle and lower classes. That did not happen, and it is very telling that this was never even floated as a possibility. The budget is based on an economic growth rate of just 1.7 percent. Analysts say that any economic shock, such as a difficult ending to quantitative easing in December, a rise in gas prices, or increasing trade wars with the United States, could make the hefty tax cuts for businesses even more costly for the average citizen. Ramin Mazahari, Press TV, Paris.